Oh, ready? Hold on, Pastor. <laughs> oh, God. I see the red light now, so we're on. Okay. You're on? Yes. Okay. Okay. Technical difficulties. <laughs> hey. Oh, hold on there. Here. You got to let me know. I'm sorry. That was my mistake. Oh, no, but it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> well, I've got a red light, Patricia, so you got to let me know what's going on. Okay. Well, I guess, I guess it's on. Well, let's start then. Okay, go ahead. All right, well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo for la mañana, Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home, amen, where we honor God, love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Yes. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive God in something for you. Amen. And guess what? We got fellowship coming up, and uh, we got some great food. And you know what? I ain't letting go on them their food. So, you know, when you go serve yourself, man, you got to make sure you get grab a little bit of everything. Yeah. So, you know what? When he, when he speaks, when the Word of God is being presented to you, you just want to say, hey, that's for me. I want it. Amen. Because the word, you know the truth. It's going to set you free. Yes. So praise God. Let's let's remember that. God uh, wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. And he wants to correct you. Amen. And today we're going to be talking about victory is mine daily. Number two. Amen. Also, this is the last Sunday of the month of July. Amen. And we just wanted to let you know that we're celebrating to our 12th year anniversary amen so we just wanted to say thank you for your love thank you for your prayers and thank you for your support amen just want to say we love and appreciate all of you amen all of you all the family NBC family and all of you that are watching and all of you that are listening amen thank you so much we appreciate love and appreciate every one of you and you're in our prayers every every day amen so praise God thank you Lord Woo, hallelujah. Are you ready? I'm yeah. excited. Grab your sword, soldier of God. And let's make this declaration together. Amen. I'm grabbing my sword. And here we go. This is my Bible. This is and I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I voted to death. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'm never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. Lord. If you don't know your mind is alert, you'll know because the battlefield is the mind. Uh -huh. And you know what? If you ain't putting a word in there, the enemy or the world is going to see to it. Yes. They're putting something in there. That's it. And whatever you do with it, you either renew your mind to the things of God, the word of God, or you're going to be just falling to the things of the world. That's it. Amen. And don't accept the lies. You know, when the enemy, <laughs> he has no new tricks. Right. Everything he says is lies. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when you hear it again, oh man, I'm hearing this all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you don't renew your mind, you're going to start believing the lies he's telling you. Mm -hmm. But the battlefield is the mind. So yes, you got to renew your mind with the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we got to feed ourselves to our spirit. Yes. The word of God. Amen. So and, and we got to crucify our flesh because our flesh just wants to be nice and comfy and relaxed. And don't want to do anything. Oh, not right now. You know, hey, I work Monday through Saturday. And Sunday, I just take off. And it's time for myself. No. <laughs> You're lying. Jesus paid for you. As a matter of fact, we got a scripture today that we're going to read. Amen? Amen. And we will find out. He paid it all. But you know, if he paid it all, that means you belong to him. Yeah. And he owns you. <laughs> And you owe him. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Man, that blesses me. So, I've got a couple of uh, scripture nuggets I want to read to you. All right. So, prepare yourselves to receive. These are good. Amen. Yes. And uh, I want you to listen. Let me get them here out of here. We've had some good ones. Yes, and uh, they're all good. But you know, and you've heard it before, but that's okay. Just... Put them to use. Put them to work. Amen. It says you can make a difference today. Bless someone with kind words of love, encouragement, and hope. Yeah. Sow kingdom seeds, words that produce kingdom fruit. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. I'm speaking to you. Amen. So, yeah. and you've been set apart. It says it's so easy to go with the flow. Mm -hmm. 
It's easy to take the path of least, least resistance. Yes. God has called you to, God hasn't called you to go with the flow. Yes. Be determined to press through every daily challenge. Right. And there's going to be daily challenges. Mm -hmm. He will lead and guide you. His grace is sufficient for you even in it. Uh, his grace is sufficient so that even impossible things are possible to yes. you. Yes. You are called, you are chosen, you're equipped, and you are set apart. Yeah. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. when the battlefield and you start re hearing all these lies, just remember, I can do all things through Christ. Yeah. And start confessing the word and go and do what he's called yeah. you to do. Amen. When he says, I'm a minister of reconciliation. But I can't speak, man. I can't do that. You know, mm. that's not what he says. He says you've been called, you've been anointed, you've been equipped, yeah. and you yes. can do all things through yes. Christ. And you know what? He's chose you to. He's chose you, chosen you to be a winner, right. not a loser. That's it. Amen. So you can be a winner for Him. Amen. We just gotta set ourselves in the Word and got ourselves. Well, here's another one. Um, this, this, this. This is called a fresh start. We are product, we are not products of our past, but we don't have to be prisoners of it. it says God's purpose is not limited to our past. God's purpose is not limited to our past. God is not looking for perfect people. He's looking for available people. Yeah, right, right. Bible heroes says Bible he excuse me Bible heroes God used were not perfect. He turned a murderer named Moses into a leader. He turned a coward named Gideon into a courageous hero. Yes. Yes. And he can do amazing things through the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. You know, when people are giving up on you, the world's giving up on you and says, you know, you're not good enough. You're not qualified. God didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to win. Yes, we yes. just got to confess what his word says. Get into his word and start confessing his word. Mm -hmm. And he says, you can do all things all through things. me. He says you can do all things through Christ. Let's remember that. When the world gives up, he ain't given up on you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know what he wants to say? Say, Lord, all you need to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. You know what he's going to say? He says, get up. Mm -hmm. Dust yourself. And press on. Right. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. And he says you can Lord. do all things through me. Oh, Amen. Woo. Praise God. Uh, let me see where I left off. He can do amazing things with the rest of your life too. God specializes in giving people a fresh start, a new beginning. God has equipped you to win. This is the hour of the mighty warriors of God to wake up, get up, press on with Him. Yes. Man, if that don't minister to you, we just got to pray, lay hands on you <laughs> and resurrect you. You know, <laughs> because <laughs> even dead can, can get up. Amen. Right. So, Woo, lay hands on you and you're gonna wake up. Say, man, this is this is for me. It says yeah. it's, it's the hour for the mighty warriors of God, warriors of God, to wake yes. up, get up, press on with Amen. Jesus. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. You, Glory. And we're gonna be talking about victory is mine. Number two. Amen. Victory is mine daily. Yes. Praise God, man. That blesses me. If that don't bless you, we just gotta resurrect you. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. So get yourselves ready. Here we go. Amen. Amen. Victory is mine, number two. Keep going. Mm -hmm. This is my baby picture. I found a baby picture of myself, and I just yeah. put it on there. It says, victory is mine. You better believe victory is mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know what? Former President uh, 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 Trump was shot. He was shot at and boy, he got up. When he got up, yep. he raised his hand and he had a fist, just like the little kid right there. <laughs> he had his fist up and you know what he said? He says, fight. And you know what he also said? He said he wanted to thank God. He said, if, it, if, it hadn't been for, if it hadn't been for God, he says, we wouldn't be here anymore. He says, we would have been having a different kind of meeting. Right. Mm -hmm. For a funeral. <laughs> yeah. So victory is mine daily. Victory is mine daily, number two. Keep going. Man, these are good. Yeah. Yes, I like this. You're a victor, not a, never, never a victim. That's it. You know what? That's the it. battlefield is the mind. Yeah. And if you're not a victor, you're going to start feeling like a victim. Uh -huh. Amen. 
And the enemy is going to see to it. He's going to give you all kind of information. Yeah. And the world's going to bombard you with negative things, you know. Peoples uh, uh, with it, on, on a sale, on a TV, on newspapers, you know. And you're going to see all that and say, man, you're going to feel so left out. You're going to feel like a victim. Mm. I say, wow. You know, but you know what? Don't receive it. You're a Amen. victor. You're a victor. That means you're a winner through him. Woo, hallelujah. Man, that blesses me. Victor, listen, says victory is mine begins with believing God's word and stepping out in faith. It didn't say step out in fear. If you're not full of him, you're full of fear. Yes. If you're not full of faith, you're full of the world. And if you're full of the world, you're full of fear. Yes. And you're going to feel like, man, I'm a victim. I feel like, man, I'm not qualified. I'm not good enough. And you're going to feel like this until you start renewing your mind with the Word of God and stepping out in faith. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Keep going. No, leave it right there. 2 so Corinthians 5, 7 says what? It says, for we, for we walk by faith, not by sight. For we believers, yes. we walk by faith and not by fear. Amen. Hallelujah. There we go. Right there. For we walk by faith, not by sight. For we walk, for we, says we, Jose, you can put your scratch the we and put your name there. Or you can say, for we believers walk by faith and not by sight. Yes. But we got to get the word in us so we can start conf confessing the word. We you know when you confess the word, you're speaking the word. Yes. You got to get it out. You know, it's not just good enough to make deposits in there. You know, you can have all the money in the bank. You can go make deposits in the bank, and man, you got all the money in the world. But you know what? If you don't make no withdrawals, mm. you ain't gonna have nothing. That's it. And, and that don't do you no good in there. That's it. You can die in poverty. Amen. And man, you can have the word of God in you and be as poor as could be. Mm. That's it. And be powerless. 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 But you know what? When you start confessing the word of God. The Bible says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, yes. take authority, and use the word of God and start speaking the word. And guess what? <laughs> Says the enemy has to flee. Yes. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. Yes. Praise yes. God. So yeah. it's time for us to stop being silent. It's time for us to get in the word, get the word in us, make deposits in us. But then again, we want to make withdrawals. We want to speak it out. And yeah. you know what? When you empty yourself, you know what you got to do? You got to fill yourself back up. Back up. Amen. <laughs> you fill yourself back up. You want to stay full, not empty. Amen. The enemy wants to catch you empty. You know why? Because when you're empty, you start confessing things of the world. And you start doing worldly things. And the enemy is going to come in, steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. Wow. You're walking away from the word. And you're defeat it now you know you're we don't we don't want to do that thank you carmen Ooh, that's good amen but for we believers we walk by faith not by sight Ooh, thank you lord keep going okay you just leave right there it says it doesn't matter what the circumstances or what the conditions the situations or the surroundings the environments or the locations are you know, we've talked about this before. You know, it doesn't matter what the location is. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is, are you going to bloom for Jesus? Mm -hmm. You know how you bloom for Jesus? Mm -hmm. You get the Word of God in you. Yes. Right. And man, when you get the Word of God in you, you're going to bloom no matter where That's you it. are. That's Amen. It. Like Paul and Silas in the dungeon, in the, in the cell, you know. Mm -hmm. And they started praising God. They started blooming for God. And you know what? He shows up. Amen. He shows up, man, and there's the results immediately. But all the doors was open, all the shackles fell off. Mm -hmm. And man, he set them free quickly. Yes. Man, that's this is this is this is awesome. And not only that, he says the praise team they lead us in this song that we sing all the time. He says, He is bigger than any mountain. Mm -hmm. Whatever you may be facing, whatever giant you may be facing, he says, My God is bigger. Yeah. When you start confessing the word of God, those mountains have to come down. Yeah. Just like the walls of Jericho. Yeah. He says nothing can knock them walls down except the word. They started confessing. They started praising God. And guess what? Them walls come coming down. 
So whatever walls are against you, whatever giants are against you, whatever mountains are against you, my God is bigger. Yeah. And we got to have that mentality in us. When we have a word in us, mm -hmm. we got to believe no matter what we're facing, That's God it. is bigger. That's it. Amen. God is bigger. It's not, we walk by faith mm -hmm. and not by sight. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> if you're walking by sight, anything is going to scare you. Even a little mouse is going to scare you. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the circumstances are. It doesn't matter what the anxieties are, what the cares, the worries, the concerns, or the fears, or the problems are. Right. You know, if you're walking in fear, if you're walking in the problem, if you're walking in these concerns, in these anxieties, these cares, you know what? I say, man, I can't do anything. I feel disqualified. I don't feel qualified. I'm not good enough. And the world is going to back you up on that, you know. They're going to say, yeah, you're not, you're not qualified. You can't do these things. You're not good enough. And they're just going to side with you and say, you yeah. Know, you're right. You, you're right. You're right. You know, you're right. You better believe you're right. Oh, you know, we'll drink with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, God. But we, we, we don't, we don't want to do that. It doesn't matter what the circumstances are. It doesn't matter what the anxieties are, and it doesn't matter what the odds look like. That's right. Amen. We, we, we just reviewing a few. We talked about last week. You know, David and Goliath. Mm -hmm. He didn't care what the odds were. Well, you're crazy. You're going against the giant. Man, you're only five foot. You're only four foot. <laughs> you know, you're only a little boy. And you're going up against a big grown man, you know. Yeah. You're no match. Mm -hmm. He says, but my God is bigger. He says, when the bear came, when the lion came, my God is backing me. Mm -hmm. Man, you got that boldness, that tenacity in you. Say, wait, wait a minute. I don't care what I'm coming against. My God is bigger. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he man, he pressed on. He, he ran to the giant. Yes. Yes. Amen. So yes. no matter what's facing you, that's know that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Woo, hallelujah. And blessing me. The walls of Jericho, we already talked about. Them walls came down. Okay? It was impossible. What seemed impossible for people, what seemed impossible for the world was not impossible for God. Right. My God is bigger. Yes, he is. I, somewhere in here I uh I wrote this. Um, but we need to stop. We need to stop limiting our supernatural God. Yeah. <laughs> we put limits on the world. There's limits to the world. And then we try to put limits on God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He is supernatural. Yes, he Amen. Is. He yeah. is super. He says, "Was was 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 impossible for you yes. is possible through me." Yes. Amen. Yes. He is bigger than no matter what we're facing. Right. Amen. Yeah. We talked about Jonah in the in the, in the belly of the whale mm -hmm. or the fish. Daniel in the lion's den. We talked about Moses. Man, he was in a he was facing the army was coming after him, and now you got the Red Sea in front of you. I said, what am I going to do? My God is bigger. Okay. Amen. The little, the, uh, the little uh, children of Israel, the Hebrew children, the three Hebrew children, they threw them in the, in the, in the fiery furnace. Yes. Turn it up seven times hotter than before. Yes. And they threw them in there and nothing happened. And not only that, they looked in there, the people that threw them in, the soldiers that threw them in, died were consumed. Yes, they were. That's how hot it was. And guess what? And then they looked and they said, wait a minute, look. We threw three in there, but I see four. <laughs> well, guess what? Whatever you happen to be facing, whatever you happen to be at, you know, my God is with you. He says, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. So let's not forget these things. Amen. But we tend to forget. So let's let's not allow ourselves to forget. God's ability is not affected by our circumstances. Right. Don't limit our supernatural God. <clears throat> Psalms 118 24 says, This is the day the yes. Lord has made. I will. I will, says we will, depends on what translation you read. But uh -huh. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Or Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. And I wrote this down. It says, This is the day the Lord has made. And guess what? And victory is mine today. Yes. Amen. Victory Amen. is mine today. This is the Lord, the day the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. And victory is mine today. Mm -hmm. You know, that's our marching song. Mm -hmm. 
Believers march this out. Victory is mine today. Victory today is mine. Yes. And it says, I told Satan, get thee behind. Because victory today is mine. Amen. He's going to try to yes. stop you. But you don't let him. Because the greater one is in you. And victory belongs to me. You need to confess that each and every day. Before you go anywhere. Amen. Set your priorities right. Seek him first. And his kingdom and all these other things shall be added onto you. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> we're not fighting. Keep going. It says, remember, you're not fighting for victory, but you're victor but you, from victory for Jesus. Christ has already defeated Satan. I wrote it like this. It says, we're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. Yes. Because Jesus has already done all this for us. He paid it in full. Amen. It's all paid in full. As a matter of fact, we haven't read this one in a while. Let's go to 1 Corinthians. I want to read this. And you, you've read it before, but it's okay. Let's go there. So you can see. 1 Corinthians is right before 2 Corinthians. <laughs> what page is that on? 1 Corinthians what? 1 <laughs> Corinthians uh, chapter 6. Okay. Chapter 6. And you know where I'm going. Chapter 6 and verses 19 and 20. Are you there? Yes. He said he paid it all. He paid he paid in full. Mm -hmm. And what and and know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, mm -hmm. which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Amen. Verse 20 says, For ye are bought with the price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are Christ. God. Mine says God's. Yes. Amen. They belong to Him. You belong to Him. So just want you to know that. Mark that down, okay? Yes. First Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20. Right. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. So we're not fighting. Said we're not fighting for victory, we're fighting from victory. He didn't set you here to lose, he set you here to win. So we're victorious through him. You know what? If you've accepted Christ, you're on God's winning team. Amen. The Olympics Olympics has started and the Olympics is going on right now. But you know what? We're on the team also. We're on God's team. Yes, amen. amen. And you know what the word team stands for? Yeah. Team stands for together. Everyone achieves yes. more. Yeah. Or together, everyone accomplishes more. Amen. But we need to, we work together in unity. Yeah. Amen. We work together in unity. Praise God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Thank you, Lord. And here's another scripture. Keep going, Carmen. Here's another scripture. New King James says this. If we confess our sins... He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all. all unrighteousness. Not just some, all unrighteousness. Amen. But mark that down. First, first, uh, first John 1 John 1.9 Jesus did not pay for only part of your sins. It says He paid for all your sins. Amen. He was, God sent Jesus. He says, I'm going to sacrifice you. I want my people back. And Jesus went and he fulfilled what God wanted him, what Father God wanted him to do. And he paid for it all. Amen. Yeah. He paid for it all. In uh, John 8, 36. Keep going, Colonel. There we go. John 8, 36 says this. So if the Son of God, or if the Son set you free, you are free indeed. Yes. Amen. Just know this. Well, this is what the Word of God says. I'm standing on the Word and I'm not moving. He says, when you've done all to stand, you do what? Stand. Continue to stand. When you've done all you can do, to stand. it says stand and then stand. And I wrote it like this. It says, John 8, uh, 36 and NIV says, So if the Son, Jesus, set you free, yes. you will be free indeed. Amen. Amen. So, you know what? But you know what the enemy's going to do? He's going to get in that mind. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and if you're not renewing that mind, he's going to tell you all kind of lies. Yes. He has no new tricks. He's just going to tell you the same old lie again. Yeah. You're not good enough. You're not good enough. You're not qualified. 
and it's going to be there and say, wait a minute, I don't receive that. That's not of God. That's not what the Word of God says. That's not scriptural. I am not receiving that. And all you have to do is say, resist them. Mm -hmm. Take authority, resist them, and he's got to flee. Yes. Amen. He's got to go. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. He made a way for us to be with him. He made a way for us to be with him. De uh, uh, defeating death, hell, and the grave mm -hmm. is what Jesus did. He defeated death, hell, and the grave. And, yeah. whoo, and he did it for us yes, so we could be with him. Yes. So don't let the world, don't let religion, don't yeah. let nobody tell you, well, you know, you, you're wasting. God can't do anything with you now. You're lost. No, you're not. For God so loved the world that he sent Jesus. And Jesus mm -hmm. came and fulfilled and accomplished what the Father sent him to do. Yes, so that we can have freedom and be free from all sin. But you got to confess it. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm watching and you're watching and you're, you're listening. All you need to do is say, hey, I'm tired of running. I'm mm -hmm. tired of going through this. I'm tired of losing. All right. Well, good. Now all you need to do is say, hey, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And from this day on, start living for Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And He's not going to turn you down. He's not going to reject you. He yeah. sacrificed His Son for you. Mm -hmm. But you got to confess. Like First John says, if we can, if we, if Jose confess our sin, my sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of my sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. He's going to set you straight. You know what you had? You had a spiritual birth. Yes. Hey Amen. You yeah. renewed. You renewed. Yes. Hey Amen. Just like Second Corinthians five seven mm -hmm. says, a uh, seventeen says, it says the old is out, the new is in. I'm a new creature yeah. in Christ. I had a spiritual rebirth. Yeah. Hey Amen. And if you fall ever from then on, all you need to do is confess your sin to Him, yeah. and He'll forgive you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Proverbs eighteen twenty one says. The death and life are in the power of the tongue. Oh, yeah. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Oh, Again, right. it's your choice. Yes. But it says death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Yes. Uh -huh. So be careful of the words you speak. You're speaking those words. So you know what? Uh, somewhere in here I wrote this. Death or life? Uh -huh. Positive or negative? Yeah. Are your choices. Yes. You can have what you say. Yes. Amen. So make sure you, you speak the right things and say the right things. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. So you can have victory in Jesus. Hallelujah. There you go. Death and life are in the power of the tongue or the words you speak. Mm -hmm. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Yeah. Proverbs eighteen twenty one. New King James. Keep going. And this is what you can have. <laughs> you can have victory <laughs> in Jesus. All the time. Amen. Every day. Amen. You can have victory in Jesus. Who praise God. Thank you. Knowing his word is knowing the truth. Amen. Knowing him is knowing the truth. And his Amen. word. Keep going. Oh, thank you, Lord. John 8 32 says what? And you shall know the truth, and the truth mm -hmm. shall make you free or set you free. Mm -hmm. Depending on what translation you're set you you have, amen. Mm -hmm. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall s s make you free. Yes. Amen. Yes. It's going to make you free. Yes. It's going to make you free from, from the mindsets of the world. Yes. You know, there's traditions, and people oh rather stand on tradition oh, no, yes. than the Word of God. Mm -hmm. You need to know oh. the difference and make the right decision. Say, wait yes. a minute. I know we've been doing it this way. We've been saying it like this, and nothing is going to change it right. nothing not even god is going to change this traditions of man make the word of god of none effect there you go okay so let's 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 remember that mm -hmm. let's remember that and say wait a minute that's not what the word of god says mm -hmm. i'm going to stand on what the word of god says mm -hmm. so you got to know the word yes. so you can stand on the word and confess the word amen Woo. praise amen. god thank you lord here's another one here set you free he says and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free yes will set you free okay yes. he's talking about you that's me jose it's going to set me free yes but i gotta get the word in me yes. and i gotta study meditate mm -hmm. the word 
in Gideon so that I can start confessing and saying, the, the, speaking the word of God, amen. But it's going to set me free from mindsets. It's going to set me free from the things of the world, amen. So we need, we need, we need to do this because if you're not for God, you're for the world. Yes. <laughs> and, and so if you're going to stand with Him, then confess His word. Otherwise, you're going to speak the word. Yes, you're going to speak yes. what the word, what what the world is saying, amen. and you don't want that. Amen. Woo. Keep going. Man, man, this is this is good. This is good. Yes. And if not, you're going to be uh, in fear. <laughs> if you're not walking in faith, you're walking in fear. You're walking by sight, and you're walking in fear. But Second Timothy one and seven says this: says, "For God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind." So don't disqualify yourself. He He's already qualified you. He's already approved you. Amen. He's already called, approved, and equipped you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I don't have to accept fear. The only time you accept fear is when you don't know. I say, if I don't know, God knows. Yes. So where do I have to go? I have to go to Him and ask Him. Amen. He knows. And if He knows, He's going to set me free. And he's mm -hmm. he's always from from uh, he's not giving me a spirit of fear with a power love with a sound mind. Keep going, Tony. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is yeah. blessed me. Woo. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, go go to the front, Carmen. There's a scripture, First uh, John five, four and five. There you go. It says. For everyone who has been born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even, Even our faith. faith. Who is yes. it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that yes. Jesus is the Son of God? Yes. Amen. Write that down. Mark that down. First mm -hmm. John 5, 4, and 5. The uh, easier read version says, Because everyone who is a child of God has the power to win against the world. Mm -hmm. yes. You have the power to win against yes, the world. Jesus did it. Yeah. You know what? God sent him on a mission. He came and he fulfilled his mission. And he has set us here. He didn't set us here to lose. He set us here to win. Yes. And we're on a mission. But you know yeah. what? We need to get instructions from yeah. heaven. I yes. guarantee you, Jesus visited with the Father every day. Uh -huh. He says, Father, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These people are tough. These people are hard. <laughs> this world is hard mm -hmm. without you. Yes, Amen. Yes. If we ain't touching bases with him on a daily basis, you know, mm -hmm. we're going to fall. Yeah. Because if you're not weak, I mean, if you're not strong, you're weak. Yeah. We got to be strong in him. Amen. 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 We got to be strong in him. He says, because everyone who is a child of God has the power to win against the world. It is our faith that has won a victory against the world. Mm -hmm. So who will win against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus right. is the Son of God. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, 1 Corinthians 5, 15, 57 says, But thanks be to God who's given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's remember who's giving us a victory. Yes. He went and he fulfilled what God, what the Father sent him to do. Yes, he did. Amen. So he's showing us. <laughs> if you want a, a great example, mm. a role model yes. is Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. I want to learn from him. I want to learn what the word of God yes, says. Yes. Out here. Amen. Keep going. The next one is the same. Yes. Here we go. First Corinthians 15, uh, 57 to 58. No, New Living Translation says, But thanks be to God. He's given, he gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. Yes. For you, you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Right, yeah. You know, hey, the world's going to tell you, they say, mm -hmm. if you do it for the world, you know, yeah. hey, no, in this case, you're doing it unto Him. When yeah. you do it unto Him, you know what? He's blessing you. Yes. He's going to bless you. Amen. He's going to bless you. Just know that. Mm -hmm. You prepare yourselves to receive. Yes. You prepare yourselves before you face the world. And you prepare yourself. Seek Him first. 
then you prepare yourself so when you go in there, you know the greater one is with you. Yes. And when you go and fulfill what he calls you to do, you know what? I already know he's going to bless me because I'm doing what he's called me to do. Right. Know that he's going to bless you. Yes. Amen. He's blessing you each Amen. and every day. Amen. If you think you're fighting a losing battle, fear not. Know that you can have victory in Jesus. We already know. Thank you, Lord, that we have victory and we are winners in his victory. Yes. We thank you to have his truth and his truth sets us free. We have freedom in his truth. Yes. Amen. Yes. Man, hallelujah. Lord. Praise God. Yes. Know Jesus has paid a full price and he is sure, your sure victory. We are victorious through him. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord. Again, you can check with David. He had no problems with the life. Amen. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus still used Peter after Peter had denied him three times. You yes. do that. And you know, he's not giving up on you. He yes. knows everything bad about you. He knows yes. all the bad things about you. And he loves you the most. Mm -hmm. So don't let the world and don't let no one tell you any different. That's it. He knows everything about you. But you know what? He says, Lord, you know me. You know I failed you. But I want to confess everything. Come in my life, be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And he's going to come in and yes. be your Lord and Savior from this day on. Start yes. marching with him. Start yes. going with him. And be on his winning side. Yes. Amen. Yes. Be on God's side. He didn't exclude you. He included you. Yes. Amen. He wants us to be participators, uh -huh. not spectators. That's it. You know, some of us are just on the side spectating, you know, and judging. <laughs> and saying, well, that's not good enough. I wouldn't do it like that. I can do it better. You know, I could do it better. Thank you. I could do it better, you know. Oh, man, I can sing better than him. I can sing better than her. I can do this better. Than... We're not to compare. That's it. We're not to compete, you know. That's it. We're to complete one another. Complete one another. And be in unity. Amen. 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 So let's, let's, let's remember this, you know, yes. because the enemy is going to take all kinds of things yes. and come against us. <clears throat> And we're here to fight the good fight of faith. Yes, we are. Lay hold on eternal life. Mm -hmm. Whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession. Amen. Before many witnesses. First Timothy 6 and 12. Yes. So we are to fight the good fight of faith. That's what he wants us to do. Amen. Stand strong with him. Yes. And confess the word. You yes. know, and walk in the word. Amen. Amen. So, you know, <laughs> I haven't talk about my Jesus glasses, but put where your Jesus glasses each and every day. Yes. This is fighting the good fight of faith. You know, when you see the world, when you see people, you see them with His love and His compassion. And I'm walking my walk of faith each yes. and every day. Amen. I'm being yes. strong in Him and being Christ-like mm -hmm. no matter where I go. Amen. Because yes. you know, if all you see is the bad in people, mm -hmm. you ain't doing them no good. No, right? Jesus... God saw the bad in, in, in people, but he says, if I sacrifice my son, I want my people back. Yes. It's the same people. Them people you see out there that's mean and ugly and rude. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world, he died for them too. It's yes. not just about your little group, you know. Yes. It's about the Our world. world. Yes. For God so loved the world, yes. he wants everybody to have Amen. an opportunity Amen. to come to Christ. Yes. But you know, you're not going to do it by yourself. you got to have your Jesus glasses every day. Yes. Get your priorities straight. Get Amen. your priorities right and step out in faith with your Amen. Jesus glasses on and sh walk in His love and His compassion. Amen. And then you know to say a kind word instead of a bad word. Amen. And see Jesus through that homeless person. Amen. Amen. Yes. Let's remember this. So we can be what God wants us to be and, and do what he wants us to do. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. Let me see what you got. This is what he, he's telling us here is that we on a daily basis. Well, let me read it to you. He says, and you, uh, New King James says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And this number two says, and do not be conformed to this world. Don't imitate, obey, adapt, fit in, or follow the crowd. Right. Be transformed, yeah. change, alter, different, improve. Mm -hmm. 
by the renewing of your mind. Yes. When do you do it? How many times do you do it? As often as needed. That's it. That's you know it. what? Because the battlefield is the, is mind. the mind. And you're going to receive all kinds of things in your mind. Mm -hmm. And if you're not renewing it to the things of God, mm -hmm. you're going to start thinking mm -hmm. what the world is thinking yes. and what the world is saying. And you're going to start confessing the wrong things uh -huh. instead of confessing what the Word of God says. That's it. That's it. You're a new creature in Christ. Remember, 2 Corinthians 5.17. Yes. That you may know what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Yes. Amen. Just, let's remember this. Renew in our mind as often yeah. as needed. I don't care how many times you got to do it until we know it says, wait, <laughs> that's not of God. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to confess it. Mm -hmm. I used to do that. Mm -hmm. You just, you know what? You think it and you spit it out. Yeah. And confess it. Well, yeah. that wasn't good. I'm not. I don't do that no more. I put a guard on my lip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I put a zip on my lip, <laughs> and it just yeah. don't flies out. You know, yeah. some of us we got to be careful because we got machine guns. You know, yeah. <laughs> and we just blast anything that pops in our yeah. head. You know, no, yeah. we don't have to say it no more. Oh. Well, I just have to say it. No, you don't. You don't have to say it. That's I it. guarantee you, <laughs> Jesus didn't speak everything that came to his head. No, That's it. he renewed his mind and says, huh. I'm not going to say those things. And when he wanted to do something and say something, you know, he says, I'm not going to sin. I'm not going to give in. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Come on now. Lord, Hallelujah. So, Hallelujah. you know what? We're going to stop there. Again, John 10, 10 tells us the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. But Jesus says, I've come that you might have life, life and have it more abundantly. abundantly. Amen. So, let's remember, Woo. church, that we are to be full-time Christians and yes. not just part-time Christians. Amen. And you know, don't just come on Sundays, you know, to church. You come to church every time you can. You know why? Because you are the church. Yes. Yeah. We just come on Sundays. We assemble ourselves together on Sundays to be here, to be empowered. Yes. We're not here to be entertained. Amen. We've talked about this. We come in here to be empowered to go and do and be encouraged to do what God has called us to do. Amen. You are the church. This is not a church. This is a church. This is a building where we assemble ourselves together. And that's what the Word of God tells us to do. Assemble yourselves together. He didn't say, well, you know, you, you sit in bed or sit on a chair and, and tune in to your favorite uh, <laughs> preacher, you know. No. He says, no, he says, you have a family church. We have a, fa a church and you have a, a, fam a family church, church where family. you are a church family where you oh. assemble yourselves together yes. and encourage one another Amen. and be there for one another. Say, hey, brother, hey, sister, you can make it. Mm -hmm. Amen. I've been praying for you. God told me to tell you this, yeah. that you, he loves you. He cares for you. Oh. He's blessing you. You know, this is what the enemy don't want us to do anymore. That's it. But we don't, we, we, let's not just be Sunday morning Christians, That's you know. <laughs> We're everyday Christians. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. And God's going to want to use you every day, not just on Sundays, you know. And let's not be pretenders. Let's be participators. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Lord. If that don't bless you, to bless me. Amen. Yes. So, <laughs> did you get something? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I yes. hope you did. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. It blessed me. Those of you watching, those of you listening, you know, you've been on the run too long. You know, it's time to stop and say, hey, I want victory. Victory is mine. I want that victory in me. Amen. I want that victory daily. Amen. Yes. All you need to do is say, Lord, I've been running from you. I've been defeated all this time. I want victory. Victory is mine. I want it. And you know what? I confess every sin to you. I repent. Come to my life, be my Lord and Savior. Amen. From this day on, I want to start living for you. I yes, want to yes, walk yes, in victory yes. each and every day from now on, from this day on. Amen. Amen. Ooh, if you have sickness in your body, it's not for you. All you need to do is say, sickness, you're not for me. Mm -hmm. I rebuke you. I yes, command yes. you to go. This body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, and I speak healing over it. Mm -hmm. Amen. By Jesus Christ, I am healed from head Heal. to toe. Amen. No malfunctions in this body. Amen. Right. Amen. Ooh, I speak healing Amen. over it. <laughs> and I receive it now in Jesus' name. Amen. So be healed, child of God. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And it's time to give. Yes. Go to our website, NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. 
And for Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God loves you, and we love you, and we thank you as we celebrate this 12-year anniversary for your prayers, your love, your support. And we just wanted to say thank you. We love and appreciate each and every one of you. God bless you. Amen.